data, prey relations are vital in maintaining a healthy ecosystem. The environment depends on the balance between the skills of the predator and the defense of its prey. Each side must adapt to its changing environment in order to survive. If the prey can move, the predator must adapt and move faster. If animals do not adapt, they are eaten or they starve. Food chain. A food chain is a picture or model that illustrates the flow of energy in an environment. It is arranged in steps or levels called trophic levels. The base of the food chain, or the first trophic level, is plants. Plants are referred to as producers because they are able to produce their own food. They do this by capturing and storing the sun's energy and using it to convert inorganic compounds into organic compounds. This process is called photosynthesis, the method in which plants use water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight energy to make sugar. This stored energy is vital to the food chain because it is in a form that can be passed on to anything that consumes it, giving the consumer energy. Consumers are all organisms that cannot make their own food, they obtain food by eating other organisms such as plants and or other animals. Consumers are placed in one of three categories, one herbivores, plant eaters. Two carnivores, eat other animals. Three omnivores, eat both plants and animals. Herbivores are classed as primary consumers and are at the second trophic level. Carnivores that prey on herbivores are secondary consumers at the third trophic level. Those animals that prey on other carnivores are tertiary consumers found at the fourth trophic level. At the end of the food chain are the decomposers. Decomposers are the bacteria and fungi that break down the bodies of dead animals and plants. The nutrients that come from this decomposition become part of the soil that is reused by new plants that are found at the beginning of the food chain. Prey defense. Prey animals must constantly be on the lookout for their predators. In order to survive, they must escape from or defend themselves against those animals trying to eat them. The main principle of feeding is to find and catch food for yourself, while not being caught as food by another animal. Many prey animals have developed different adaptations to protect themselves from becoming another animal's dinner. Camouflage, highly developed sensors, warning signals, and different defensive weapons and behaviors are all used by prey animals for survival. Camouflage. Camouflage is an adaptation in which a species evolves to resemble its background. It is the technique used by many animals of resembling and blending in with their surroundings. It is a kind of coloring, body shape, and or behavior which animals use to confuse, distract, startle, or hide. It is used by both sides in the battle for survival. Prey animals use camouflage to remain undetected by their predators. Predators use camouflage to sneak up, unseen, by their prey. There are three basic kinds of camouflage, color resemblance, counter shading, and disruptive coloration. 1. Color resemblance. An animal's color resembles its natural environment. This helps the animal to not be seen while still in plain view. Some animals such as the snowshoe hare and ptarmigan adapt seasonally. Come winter, their color changes to white, which helps them blend in with the snow. In the spring, as the snow melts and grass and shrubs start to emerge, their color changes back to brown, to blend in with the surrounding environment. If they did not change to white in the winter, they would be easily spotted against the white snow, and many would not make it to the next spring. 2. Counter shading. Camouflage designed to hide an animal's three-dimensional form. Animals such as the Canada goose, mice, and the white-tailed deer use counter shading. They are lighter on their bellies and darker on their backs. When seen from a distance, the two colors blend together, making it difficult to pick out the animal's outline from surrounding patterns. 3. Disruptive coloration. Markings that disguise the animal among its surroundings. It leads the eye away from its shape and into the background. It makes the shape of the animal harder to pick out from the other shapes around it. Animals that have patterns of spots, stripes, or uneven patches use this method of camouflage. The deer fawn uses disruptive coloration when it is lying still in the grass. Its spotted coat looks like patches of sunlight falling on the forest floor. Senses. Prey animals often rely on escape as their form of protection. Therefore, they must have a well-developed sense of sight, hearing, and smell so they can detect the presence of a predator in enough time to escape. Sight. Prey animals need all-around vision to see advancing predators. Therefore, their eyes are located on the sides of their head, which gives them a wide field of vision. They are able to look in either direction and are sensitive to the slightest movements. Hearing. A well-developed sense of hearing is essential for the survival of prey animals. Many can hear a predator approaching long before they can see it. They can pick out the direction the sound is coming from, enabling them to escape in the direction heading away from the predator. 
Smell. An animal's sense of smell is much more developed than a human's. Prey animals can detect an approaching predator from a great distance. They are then able to send a signal, warning other animals of the lurking danger. Warning signals. Warning signals are used to scare away predators and to warn other animals. Many will call out with a warning call. Others may warn each other by a visual cue like raising a tail. Some animals are poisonous, taste bad, or have a painful bite or sting. Many of these animals are brightly colored with bold patterns. These colors serve as a warning signal to predators. After one bad experience with a prey sting, spray, or poison, a predator will usually learn to recognize the colors and leave it alone. Alarms Prey animals sometimes make a lot of noise when they are attacked, hoping to scare the predator away or at least warn others of the danger. Alarm calls are especially important for protecting young. If a predator threatens offspring that are being tended by their parents, at least one of the watchful adults will immediately sound the alarm. Visual Signals While many animals make sounds to warn each other, others signal each other visually. For example, when one animal senses an approaching predator, it might flash a bright patch of color or hold its tail straight up, which are signals that can be easily seen by others. These signals tell others that danger is near, giving them a chance to escape. White-tailed deer The white-tailed deer uses a couple of methods to warn of approaching danger. When it senses a predator, it gives a low sneezing type whistle to alert the herd. As the deer is fleeing, it lifts its tail to reveal its white backside. This signal can be seen at a great distance, warning those who are further away. Skunk A skunk is most commonly associated with its bad smell, however, many warning signals are given prior to emitting its horrible smell. When a skunk feels threatened, it will thump the ground with its foot, snap its teeth, and raise its body hairs. If the enemy continues to threaten, the skunk will lift its tail and spray the attacker with its signature scent. Beaver When a beaver is threatened by a predator, it will slap its tail on the water, creating a loud cracking sound. This alerts other beavers in the pond, they will respond by slapping their tails, then diving underwater to safety. Rattlesnake The rattlesnake acquired its name from the way in which it warns its enemies. When threatened, the rattlesnake shakes the rattles on the tip of its tail. If the enemy persists, the rattlesnake will coil up and prepare to strike. Prairie Dog Prairie dogs live in colonies and appoint the young as guards, stationed on top of their burrows, and on the outskirts to the prairie dog town, to keep an eye out for predators. When anything of danger is spotted, the guard throws its head back and gives a short, nasal yap. This warns the colony who all dive into their burrows for safety. Defensive Weapons Prey animals have adaptations to fight or avoid their predators. Many prey animals are very fast and will run a fly away from their attacker. They have specialized features which give them incredible speed. Other animals will fight back using special adaptations to cause harm to their attacker. Special Weapons When an animal is under attack, it will defend itself with all the weapons it has. Arms, legs, wings, hooves, teeth, claws, antlers, etc. Some animals have further adapted to defending themselves and have developed other forms of defense. Porcupines have quills with barbed hooks on the ends. If a predator gets too close, the porcupine can release the quills into its predator, making it draw back in pain as the porcupine escapes. Chemical defense. Some animals and insects use chemical defense. When attacked, some may spit, spray, or squirt chemicals which can cause pain or discomfort to the predator. Many snakes have venom, which when injected into the skin, can stun, numb, or paralyze the attacker. Skunks use an odor to protect themselves. They produce a strong liquid called musk. Musk is made and stored in glands near the tail. When another animal comes too close, the skunk raises its tail and sprays musk from its glands. While the intruder is reeling from the powerful odor, the skunk runs away. Speed Many animals rely on running away as their best defense. Animals such as deer and pronghorn have hind legs built for speed. They can usually outrun a predator. If the animal is very young or sick, however, it is unable to run very fast and is usually caught. Behavioral Adaptations Prey animals adapt not only physically, but behaviorally as well. Their behavior is governed by instinct and is altered to suit their environment in unique defensive situations. Some animals trick their predators into thinking they are hurt or dangerous. Others will congregate into large groups or have highly adapted forms of hiding from their attackers. Bluffing Bluffing is used by some animals to fool their predators into thinking they are dangerous, already dead, or hurt. 
Some may copy the behavior of a dangerous animal or have specialized body parts that look dangerous. This is called mimicry. Mimicry is mainly used by insects. The viceroy butterfly has a black and orange wing pattern that closely matches the monarch butterfly's pattern. The monarch is a bad tasting insect that most birds will not eat. Birds which see the viceroy will leave it alone, thinking it is a monarch. Some animals, like the killdeer, will pretend to be hurt in order to draw the predator's attention away from the nest. The predator will divert its attention to the mother killdeer and follow it until the killdeer thinks the predator is far enough away from the nest, then she will fly away, leaving the predator without a meal. Other animals, like the opossum, will play dead. It will lie down becoming stiff and hang out its tongue, appearing to be dead. Many animals will not eat something that is already dead so they leave the opossum alone. Living in groups. Many animals live in groups, which means that there are more eyes and ears to look out for predators. If one senses danger, the entire group is alerted and can run for safety or dive into a protective shelter. Living in groups means animals can feed without constantly having to watch for predators. In a group, animals will take turns watching for approaching predators while the rest of the group feeds. Staying together also makes it more confusing for the predator. It makes it difficult to focus on an attack only one animal, usually the animal that wanders away from the group gets caught. Hiding. Some animals do not have speed, special weapons, or methods of bluffing to rely on, so they simply hide from their predators. The ground squirrel hides in tunnels it digs underground. These tunnels usually have two doors in case the predator is able to get through door number one. Population control. Despite the many defenses and forms of protection prey animals have, many are still caught and eaten by their predators. To ensure that their species does not die out, prey animals produce more offspring than predators can eat. The survival of a species depends on how often it reproduces, this is called population control. Animals that are caught often, such as rabbits, produce many offspring. Therefore, the easier an animal is to catch, the more offspring it will have. Predator hunting adaptations. Predation is an essential part of the balance of the environment. Predators usually choose the easiest meal, so they target the elderly, sick, or very young. This makes the remaining prey population stronger and healthier. Predation is also important in keeping the herbivore populations under control. The number of herbivores is much higher than the number of carnivores. If the herbivore population is not kept under control, populations would soon exceed the capacity of the habitat to sustain them, resulting in extreme damage to natural foliage. In order to survive, predators must be able to outsmart their prey and use to their advantage their keen senses, physical adaptations such as sharp teeth and claws, as well as various hunting strategies. Senses Predators have finely tuned senses of smell, vision, and hearing and tend to be very curious about all of their surroundings. Vision. Unlike prey animals, whose eyes are placed on the sides of their head, predators' eyes are placed towards the front of their head, giving them three-dimensional, binocular vision. Eyes placed on the front of the head may give predators a more limited view of the world around them than prey animals, but it does make it easier to judge distance and see small details from further away. In addition to binocular vision, hunting animals also have big eyes. This helps them pick up light signals easily and they are therefore able to spot quick movements. Smell. Although predators rely heavily on their vision to find prey, they also have a well-adapted sense of smell. Some predatory animals such as the wolf, fox, and coyote rely more on their sense of smell than their vision. These animals have a longer snout which provides more room for complex nasal passages which house chemically sensitive cells. Foxes, for example, are so sensitive to smells that they are able to smell prey lying two feet under soil or snow. Reptiles also have an acute sense of smell, however, they detect senses in a different manner. By sticking out their tongues many reptiles can pick up scents in the air. Lizards and snakes will flick their tongue into the air, then press the tongue to the roof of their mouth. The Jacobson's organ, a special organ found on the roof of a reptile's mouth, allows the reptile to smell what is in the air. This allows them to detect any food nearby. Hearing. Like prey animals, many predatory animals also have a keen sense of hearing. They are capable of swiveling their ears forward or back to pinpoint where a particular sound is coming from. 
Bats have extremely sensitive hearing, their large ears are their primary means of locating prey. Bats make high-pitched squeaks that are above the upper limit of human hearing termed ultrasonic. When the sound waves hit something they bounce back like an echo. The bat hears the echoes and can tell where the object is. This process, called echolocation, enables bats to find food at night without bumping into anything. Bats have such sensitive hearing that not only can they find tiny insects, but they can also tell if it's a favorite variety of insect. Hunting Strategies Predatory animals have developed various methods of tracking down and killing their prey. Some strategies require more effort such as chasing, while others require patience and cooperation. Stalking Animals that stalk their prey have developed special features which ensure that they can sneak up on their prey undetected. Cats have soft padded paws with retractable claws which help them walk silently. Owls have soft, jagged, comb-like wing edges which allow them to fly silently. Animals that stalk also have to have quick reflexes. Once they get close enough to their prey they have to act quickly to ensure that their dinner is caught. Sit and wait. The sit and wait strategy requires little energy, however, it does require lots of patience. Animals who use this hunting strategy usually employ some form of camouflage. They blend in with their surroundings and wait for their prey to come within striking distance. The great blue heron will stand in shallow waters for hours waiting for small fish and frogs to come near enough to spear with its bill. The heron's long legs resemble tall spindly water plants and therefore do not scare the fish away. The heron will stand motionless and wait until its dinner swims up to it. It then uses its long sharp bill to spear its prey and then tosses the dead prey into the air and catches it with its mouth. Group Hunting Some predatory animals hunt in groups, taking advantage of their numbers to take down animals much larger than themselves. This method of hunting is often seen in wolf packs which have a highly organized method of team hunting. Sometimes the wolf pack will chase the prey in relays, taking turns until the prey ties out. Wolves will also travel in long, spread out lines, outflanking the prey and even driving it towards the other pack members lying in ambush. Physical Adaptations In addition to hunting strategies, predatory animals have also adapted to their life of hunting by developing various physical features which aid them in capturing and eating their prey. Teeth and Claws Predatory animals are equipped with long, sharp claws and teeth specialized for tearing, shearing, and cutting flesh. Their teeth and claws ensure that once the prey is caught the predator is able to kill it as well as eat it. Birds of prey, such as hawks, eagles, and falcons have long curved claws on their feet called talons. Their talons allow these birds to swoop down and easily grasp prey such as slippery fish and squirming rabbits. Their long curved beaks are also very sharp and strong which aids them in ripping apart their dinner. Cat claws are unique in that they are retractable. They can move swiftly and silently with their claws pulled into their paws, but as soon as they pounce on their meal their razor-sharp claws spring out of their paws and tear at the prey. Jaws. Most predatory animals have very strong jaws which enable them to hold on to their prey as well as to crush through meat and bone. Their jaws also move up and down, instead of side to side like prey animals, which better enables predators to cut through flesh. Snakes' jaws have adapted in order to swallow food whole. Their jaw can become unhinged at the rear so it can drop far down allowing more room in the mouth to fit the meal. Many snakes can swallow an animal that is three times larger than their body diameter. Strength. Many predatory animals are very strong. This enables them to easily take down animals which are larger than themselves. Cougars are very muscular and are able to take down small deer. The shrew may be tiny but it is very aggressive and strong for its size. It will attack and kill animals and insects which are bigger than it. Special Features. Many animals have specialized body parts which help them catch and eat their food. Frogs have long tongues to help them catch insects and great blue herons have long sharp beaks to help them spear fish. Otters have webbed feet and special oils which make their fur waterproof and enables them to easily swim and catch food. These special features have all been adapted to suit specific environments and feeding conditions. They give the predator a greater chance of catching food and surviving another day. Intelligence Predatory animals have larger brains than prey animals, their intelligence helps them to outsmart their dinner. Crows and ravens are among the most intelligent birds. They have their own language and are able to communicate very efficiently with one another.
They can even imitate a number of sounds such as whistles, cat meows, and machine noise. The fisher is also intelligent, it has figured out a way to capture and eat the porcupine. The fisher's quick reflexes allow it to flip the porcupine onto its back without being pricked by quills. Once the porcupine's belly is exposed, the fisher bites into the unprotected underside and eats its prey.